good morning guys uh yeah we're still in vietnam i've been here i can't believe that i have been here for uh almost three months i'll be in two weeks time it will be three months guys and uh if you can go back and watch my video before i came here i had a lot of problems like uh, uh my visa was uh denied at first because when i was filling the form online i didn't put my i didn't put my my passport correctly i put my one digit on my passport number wrong and and i didn't realize they gave me the visa and so when i went to the airport and um, i was about to check in for my flight uh at the counter they looked at my visa and uh they told me no you can't go to vietnam and uh it was <clears throat> it was a tricky situation for me because at that time i was in singapore and you know singapore is um a little bit expensive guys and so there is no way that i was going to stay there uh for more days so i had to change my plans and i that time guys if you can go and watch my videos i had to take a bus from singapore to malaysia by yeah uh crossing the border with the bus and uh when i was in malaysia i applied again for my visa to come here my visa because i had a question somebody was asking me what type of a visa do i have i have a uh, a 50 dollar um uh, multiple entry visa which means i have a 90 day visa here in vietnam i know it's it's tricky but when i was applying for my visa i saw that offer which is is new it has it was not there before that's what even when i came here a lot of people they were surprised that i got the the three months visa but i really got it uh so guys when you want to apply for a vietnam visa you have to be very very careful because if you confuse just one number even if it's a the date you have even to look and understand how they want you to fill the date format because uh at the airport they're so so restrict with their visas but again guys my experience here in vietnam the first time that when i came here guys i was so scared i was so afraid uh first of all you know me being black and then i come in an asian country and then there is no other people who they are black and then you know the language barrier uh i'm used to speak my local language in my country kenya and all that so coming here it was a little bit tricky i didn't i didn't know if you know sometimes when you travel to different countries or you travel to a foreign country you don't know how people they're gonna receive you but what i've learned on my years of traveling is every country there will always be good people if you are a good person you'll always find good people so in the beginning it was a little bit uh tricky but with the time i i got to to adapt is that the correct english guys forgive me for my english my english is not that perfect i do try uh and uh within days it took me like oh my god i was so scared even to go out if you go back to my videos guys you will see how i was so afraid to record guys i it, it was just scary guys and then one thing i was also scared of was the food i didn't know how if taking or having different kind of food from my african food how was it going but uh surprisingly i got to love the food here and i have one of my favorite food which is their soup that one is my favorite guys vietnam has the best 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 food and uh and uh for the three months guys i was able to make a lot of friends like the hotels that i was going i met really amazing people that they were 
they were just smiling faces you know here even if you can't communicate to people you can just communicate by your your face if you just see people local people and they're not speaking english you can just smile and uh, uh yeah you can just communicate to people by your facial and uh, something else that i was really really surprised guys and this one um i'm saying according to the people that i met uh, a lot of people here they do know they don't know about africa like when i was telling people oh because a lot of people they were curious when they see a black person walking on their street and uh, they were just curious like where are you from and i would tell them i'm from kenya i'm from kenya africa and guys you can go and watch my video on my youtube you can see there i was asking some couple people there if they know actually kenya and africa uh and it was funny their answers what they gave me i would like you guys to go and watch that video for me i find it funny in a in a good way uh it was just fun and funny at the same time yeah that yeah they didn't know about africa and then something else i was worried about most of the time when i travel as an african most of the time we get it's sad but it's reality we get to have to face racism i hope i'm saying it rightly uh racism yeah we we get to experience that and uh here i didn't get that like everybody was so super super friendly and everybody just wanted to say hi a lot of people they wanted to take pictures with me and uh i really love vietnam i'm still in vietnam i'm in a place called uh Ho, which i've done a video about the tomb about the min Mang tomb if you have not watched that video guys go and watch it and if guys you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do so i'm not i'm not good in youtube i'm not good in editing videos but i'm trying but uh I'm learning each and every day. I think my videos are becoming better. So guys, you can go and watch my other videos and you can walk this journey with me. So guys, I have only two weeks left. And then after that, I will be going to a new country. Uh, I have like two weeks and a half. So uh, we'll be going up to Hanoi and at the mountain. I hope I can show you all my travel journey and that's why guys i want you to, sub to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can be part of my journey so guys with that please uh drop your comment below let us make friends and help me reach 1000 sub subscribers and i will be grateful and i'm so happy for everybody who is part of my youtube journey and for everybody who comes to watch my YouTubes. So guys, uh, I'll just leave that. And my final words will be, Vietnam is a beautiful country with amazing people. The food is delicious. And the country is really cheap. The hotels, you can go and watch my videos, guys. I have done, I have done videos about the, a hotel where it's really cheap this country is really cheap and affordable so if you're planning to to start traveling if you're lo or you're looking for a country to travel try vietnam 